Well, it's happening. Hurricane Ian is coming towards Florida, and in this video, we're gonna get into how that is going to impact real estate in the state of Florida. So let's jump right in. Well, we don't like to see it. We never like to see a hurricane coming our way in the state of Florida. Now, the reality is that we have seen a lot of hurricanes. If you look at a spaghetti map of all of the hurricanes that have come through Florida ever since they've been recording this, there is barely a spot in Florida that doesn't have a hurricane that has gone through that particular area. Now, that being said, we still don't like when it happens, but we are quite quite prepared for that as a state in terms of construction. Most of the homes that were built after 2002 have very good hurricane building codes that are around them, and most also have hurricane shutters or impact glass. So the real estate, as far as the properties are concerned, those tend to hold up very well from a wind perspective. Now, that being said, any kind of storm surge and or flooding, that's a little bit different of a story because anything that is coastal, if we have strong storm surge, that has the real potential to be catastrophic if that comes our way. Now, Hurricane Irma was the last known storm. Well, I shouldn't say last known. It was the last major storm that came through our area, and that was in 2017. And what was forecasted there was anywhere between 12 and 17 feet of storm surge. And it was going to, you know, basically what it, the news made us believe is that it was going to decimate Southwest Florida as we know it and large you know, larger portion of the entire state of Florida. Now, when it comes down to it, that ended up not happening quite that way. Sure, there was some flooding. Sure, there was some wind damage, but it was mostly what we saw is wind damage to trees, wind damage to the pool cages, the lanai screens, those types of things. So yeah, it was a major cleanup, but it wasn't as devastating to the actual structures and the flooding wasn't as bad as they had predicted. So right now it's a little early to be able to tell what the total fallout is going to be there, but I always reassure people that we are built for hurricanes. That is, you know, that is how Florida is set up. Now, when it comes to the actual real estate, what's going to happen there? Now, again, going back to Hurricane Irma, that was in, uh, I believe it was September of, it was September of 2017. And in that month, you will see here in this graph, there was a major dip in the number of closings that happened that month for obvious reasons. And so that has the potential when a hurricane comes through to affect a lot of the real estate transactions that are in place. And it also has the ability to affect a lot of the real estate transactions that will take place. And because a lot of people who come to our state, they're traveling from outside of the area and it really disrupts travel. So if people are coming to plan, you know, planning to come into town to look at property, that's disruptive. That has long-term effects. Now, if you are currently purchasing a property in the state of Florida, I do want to talk about what is in the contract that relates to a hurricane event. And we have a clause in the Florida real estate contract that deals with this specifically. And this is a force majeure event. And so this is some unforeseen circumstance that would get in the way that would prevent us from fulfilling the obligations of the real estate contract. And so with that, a hurricane certainly is one of those things that's unforeseen. The contract stipulates that there is a seven day and there's a seven day extension of any time frame in the contract that can take place once all of the force majeure event has been fulfilled, like as in that's done. And so that can get a little bit confusing, but then it goes on further to say that if after 30 days, the circumstances around the force majeure event have not been satisfied, then either party may terminate the contract and the buyer would get their deposit back. And so where we see this become a real issue is title companies that close, because if you don't have power, you can't fulfill, that is a possibility. But also on top of that, we tend to see a bigger issue with the lenders because the lenders don't want to fund any real estate deals if they're afraid that there was some catastrophic damage that could have happened to the property that they will be financing. It's pretty logical. I don't blame them for that. But that has the potential to delay a closing because of that fact. And essentially what happens, somebody's got to go check on the property. Usually that is a property appraiser that will do 
a wellness check on the property to make sure that nothing has changed with the property since that appraisal was done before. That's one of the major things that we see that delays, you know, the ability to close on property. Now, if Hurricane Irma is any indication, then that would mean a few months down the road after cleanup happens that the closings would pick up because everybody who wanted to close in September or October, they would get pushed, you know, those would get pushed back a little bit further, but they still happen. At the end of the day here, we've got to understand that safety is obviously always the number one priority. That is what we want to be assured of. So the planning stages of all that is extremely important. Real estate in Florida long term will not change based on one storm that comes through because this is something that is a cost of being in paradise, right? That is just something that comes with the territory when we have this beautiful weather and all of these beaches and the ocean near us, we're going to see some big storms occasionally. So I don't think this has any long term impacts, but the short term as far as the you know right now up until a few months from now absolutely we have the ability uh, to see that causing some issues so it's just something that you want to be aware of please do me a favor if you could like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel i'm going to be putting a, a lot of relevant content regarding this and other real estate uh, in florida content around real estate in florida i would appreciate that and also let me know in the comments are you if you're local are you staying or are you going i'd like to know we can't wait to hear from you. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.